I really want to share with you my recipe for my warm bacon potato salad. It's so good, it doesn't have any mayo in it, which is perfect for if you're going on a picnic or if you're having something outdoors, a barbecue or whatnot. It's great because it's not going to spoil. So, the ingredients you're going to need, they're not that many, but you'll need some potatoes and I'll talk about these in just a minute. Chopped red onion, I've got some chopped up bacon, chives, parsley, celery salt, paprika, a little additional regular salt and pepper, tiny bit of olive oil, some grainy mustard, and red wine vinegar. It's so easy and it's so good. You can play up the flavors a million and one ways. It's up to you, really. Now, I've got a skillet here. I'm turning this on to about medium. Now, for the potatoes, while that's heating up, let's talk about the potatoes. I'm using some baby red skinned potatoes. I just have them. That way, half them, they're good to go. And I boil, them, I boil them in some salted boiling water for a good 15 minutes so that they're soft, but they're not falling apart. Then I just drain them and I put them in this bowl. You can use any potato you want. Peel it, unpeel it, it's up to you. Red skin, thin skin, I don't peel it. I can't stand peeling things. So, that's about it. Now, in my scale, I'm going to add in my bacon and I'm going to just let this cook until it's released a lot of its natural fat you know because that's what we're gonna make the dressing out of I know it's naughty but if you're having a big barbecue if you're having a big get-together for the summer this is great you're only gonna eat a very small amount of it because it, it has such strong flavors and this is the thing I love about if you're making things that are really flavorful you, or at least I, don't need a lot of it. So it's not like I'm sitting there with a bland chip and dip and I'm just going back for more and back for more and back for more. If it's something that has a lot of flavor, a little bit will satisfy you, which is what, that's my motto anyway, which is why I like to put a little extra flavor into anything that I make. I'm going to let that go until it's really nice and crispy, and then I'll show you the next step. Bacon's nice and crispy. I took that out with a slotted spoon because I'm going to add my red onion right to those juices. I love that sound. It's always a promising start. It always sounds like something good's going to happen when you hear that sound. All I'm going to do is I'm going to cook the onions until they develop a little bit of color. And now, if you want to, you can absolutely add the onions raw. I mean, hey, I'm not your boss. I don't tell you what to do, I'm just telling you what I love. I like to cook the onions, they develop a little bit of color, they get really nice and sweet against the salty bacon. Hatch made in heaven. Now what I'm going to do in the meantime, while those are going, is I'm going to chop up some chives and some parsley. I like the slight onion flavor from the chives, that's kind of where you know, you got the fresh little onion flavor from the chives, and then you've got that delicious sort of caramelized sweet flavor from the cooked on red onion, so it's great. I've got some parsley. I've got a lot of parsley here, so I might not add all of this, but I do love fresh parsley, and I love that sort of fresh, grassy, delicious note that it adds. So I'm just going to chop this up, add it to my bowl, keep an eye on my onions, and then we'll pull the whole thing together. That looks fantastic. Now, I have the olive oil on hand. I've been snacking on the bacon. I'm not even going to lie. I have the olive oil on hand in case I needed a little extra oil to make the dressing, but the, the bacon rendered out a lot of fat, so I don't need it. I'm going to add in red wine vinegar. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Some delicious grainy mustard. I love this stuff. And I also have my paprika, which I'm going to add now my dressing mixture. Oh, smells incredible. That mustard, it's so, it's, it almost has an attitude. I can't really describe it. I'm very excited. All right, this is done. Turn this off. Adding it right to my warm potatoes, getting every last drop of dressing out. Because it is important. I want to get it in my belly. Let's add in our celery salt for a little extra flavor. Lots of freshly ground black pepper. And I'm going to add just a touch, a very small touch of regular salt, only because I tasted the potatoes after boiling them in the salted water, and I didn't put enough, you know, salt in the water that the potatoes were boiling in. Put your bacon back in, and then just give everything a good stir. And look at that. If you could just smell this right now, 
it just smells like an amazing combination of vinegar and mustard and the fresh herbs and everything is just what a combination. I'm just going to stir for a good few minutes because I want this to get really well coated in the dressing. 